Thank you so much. Uh, I would have two questions on Gaza. The first one, yesterday during his remarks with the King of Jordan, the President said over 27,000 Palestinians have been killed in this conflict, and this is the death count that has been made public by Hamas. So do you confirm that this death toll is accurate and can be seen as the official death toll in Gaza? Have you been able to verify this figure? The President was referring to publicly available uh, data about the total number uh, of, uh, of casualties. Uh, and as he said, too many of that total number, um, unfortunately, are innocent civilians. He was referring to publicly available data. Okay. And uh, my next question is, um, when uh, the administration asks Israel to come up with a credible plan to protect civilians before it launches a major offensive in Rafah, does that mean that until now, you think that Israel has been operating with a credible plan to protect civilians in northern Gaza, for example? Again, we're not, uh, you know, it's hard to, I don't want to get into armchair quarterbacking past operations here. That said, as you saw when they operated in North Gaza and then as they started to uh, operate more in Khan Yunus, they did take steps to allow safe passage for civilians. They dropped leaflets telling them where to go and how to get there. Um, they relied less on air power. So there were efforts. That does not mean, or does, and it does not excuse, excuse any single civilian casualty. They're all tragedies. We don't want to see any. Uh, but the Israelis have shown an effort in the past to try to account for the movement and the safety uh, of civilians. Um, and again, as they ponder and consider major operations in Rafah, now with everybody moving down there because of what happened in North Gaza, because of what happened in Khan Yunus, they have a special added burden to, to make sure that they can provide for their safety and security and sustenance.